again, a very difficult post-defensive series is called Survivor in the Middle. As you can see, you have three passes or two, and the defender has to get up and over the post and totally be in front of the post, especially the balls on the wing. The balls on the top or the lane lines, they should be three-quarter ball shot. But as soon as the ball goes to the wing, they got to be dead fronting, getting inside and tight to the body of the, of the offensive player. Again, get up and over the post, we dead front, then you got to hustle back across and get around the defender as the ball is in transition. A good defensive drill should be used every other night. It's called two deads in a charge. The players start at the baseline and they zigzag back and forth under control two to three times and the offensive player picks the ball up and we get a dead. Then the ball is passed to the coach and we jump to the ball in proper position. Then they zigzag again as you can see and on the second zigzag you try to square up and take the charge. The last part is going one on one from the three point line extended. Again, jumping to the ball, being in proper position and then moving your feet slide slide open or in the sense of slide slide square up and get a charge. Again, another series we see a lot is the motion offense. We're handling cross screens. If your man is screening away, your job is to protect the bucket. You got to protect that block. You sit down on the block until your man recovers. The guy being screened on the cross screen on the blocks, you got to get across by jumping to the ball sooner and shooting the gap. As you can see on the top, we're doing the same action as we did three on three screen away. Again, the ball's past the wing. Got to get up and over the post and shoot the gap so the ball cannot enter the post pass screen so you can work two things at the same time once as the players get better dead front the post shoot the gap again on the ball you gotta have high hand pressure close out high and short jump to the ball front the cutter if your man is the screener you gotta give help until the, your man your partner recovers good warm-up drill is called full court passing Bottom line is you have four on, two on each side and one inner taking the ball out. First pass is normally a baseball pass, then you can go to a chest, then an overhead and finish with a bounce. As you make the pass, you go to the end of the next line. The guy that makes the last pass follows up his shot and takes it down the court. This is called war. It's a full court rebound and drill where the key thing to stress is body after body. You have two coaches, one at one end, one at the other. You have four on four. The offense keeps the ball until they don't get the ball in net. The defense must get the ball, then outlet it to a coach, as you can see, then throw it up to the other end. The shot is released. The coaches should be looking for who's putting up. The term is body on a body. Offense keeps going after it until the defense gets it, whether it goes through the net or not. A good breakdown of the swing or Michigan series is three on three, one side of the court. You're working on up screens, down screens, and basket cuts. Just playing basketball, basketball on one side of the court. Start with a down screen possibly, post up, up screen, but look to play a game. As you can see, that was a good pin on the lane line for a lane line lob. That is the type of lob we want to throw and the only lob we want to throw. Throwing a lob from the wing is not really recommended. We'd rather have a bounce pass. Down screen, post up, not open with a ball fake. Step out and see if you can get the ball extended and dribble penetrate to get a good finish. Again, three on three is the idea of playing basketball. Just play basketball. Make defensive cuts. If the ball is thrown in the post like you see, you cut off the post. Again, dribble rotate and up screen. Set your man up on the seal. Step out when somebody dribble penetrates. Just play a game. Ball fakes, shot fakes, all you're doing is limiting in space so the player has to make better decisions. They have to realize when their screen's not effective anymore, as you can see, and finish the bucket. Good shooting drill to simulate the swing offense is called the Michigan State Shooting Series. You got about three to four in a line. Everybody has a ball but one. You make the hard back cut set up in the post for a post move or you can simulate where you set you don't get the ball and you up screen and hit the up screen jump shot again another variation variation of the michigan state series is coming off the back cut setting up an up screen and attacking the bucket with a vicious pivot or hips across as you can see again we're simulating the cuts we're making game shots and game cuts right within our dribble series 
Again, set a good screen, know when your screen's not effective anymore, catch and receive and attack the bucket. Another variation of the Michigan State shooting series is the skip pass. Ball fake the post, skip it to the opposite lane line. As you can see, it's the spacing of the, of the swing series. The good thing about these drills is you have a lot of, lot of people involved, nobody sitting like we want all drills, as little as sitting as possible, and you, can only, you only need one basket. Another variation of the MSU series is reading the D. You're making a hard cut, you're getting jammed or bumped, Go to the open area. You don't go to certain spots. We give you a blueprint to work with in the offense, but you still play basketball. The coach is there making a little bump. Where are you going to make the hard cut? Again, go path of least resistance, but go hard. Four and four, great series to run at least every other night. Teaching your kids just to play basketball, but you're keeping two guys on one side of the court while the other two... Teammates are st working the other side court. You can set screenaways, encourage curl routes, read back cuts, just play basketball, but make them learn how to read defenses, whether they're playing them tight on the ball or loose on the ball. How do you read a screen? Do you go over the top of it tight and curl it, or do you fade it? Again, slip in the screen when your screen isn't effective. The rules are keeping two guys on one side of the court and two on the other, and they have to work together as a tandem. Four and four. Reading the D, something, just play basketball, read the defense, and attack the basket. One-on-one -on -one closeout again is getting guys in position parallel to the sideline. You're closing out high and short. That's the term. Don't let them down the middle. We want to force them to an inline or, or sideline so they can't get that advantage. The weak side eventually will come over and give help. But again, close out high and short, enter the ball, whether it's through the coach or the baseline. Building up from the one-on-one, -on -one, two on two with the skip. Closing out high and short. As you can see, the weak side has got to get over there before they enter the paint. Defensively, you must stop the ball before they get to the paint. Have both feet outside the lane. Throw the ball off the board. Close out high and short. Jump to the ball. Make sure we flood the paint. Jump to the ball. Show your numbers, your back numbers. Close out and then rotate before they get outside and finish the drill with a good box out. Again, like doing post moves, we need to teach our kids every night of how to read the D. This is learning how to pin. When your man is coming down and they're on ball side, you can reverse pivot like a commando pivot and get them pinned up above your shoulder for a lane line lob. The passer works on throwing the ball over the top, not a push pass from the chin, but over the top. Again, as you see, the coach is front in the cutter, ball's reversed, and you pin your man so the ball can be dropped down the lane with a down the gut pass or a lob pass. Here, it's just the opposite. The defender is flooding the paint. They're waiting for you down there. They're already below you, and you seal with your bottom or your backside to them. And again, the passer's ball faking and feeding it with a down-the-gut pass. Seal them in the paint and reach in with again with the down-the-gut pass. For younger grades, introducing the swing offense, working on three on zero. Learn how to make a good screen. Stepping out after the screen's not effective anymore and keeping your spacing. As you can see at the end here, a seal in the post with a bounce pass down the gut pass. Down screen, post up. Up screen, make a hard basket cut to draw attention. Then pin, in this case, with a lane line lob. Good ball defensive pressure as well. Most of all, handling defense pressure is called quarter drill. You've got to stay between the lane lines, and the defender must play belly-to-belly -belly defense. The idea for the offense is to create space and change the pace and try to blast by them. But again, the defender must be nose-to-nose -to, -nose to make it very difficult. The offensive player is restricted in space of where he can go. He must stay between the lane lines and handle hard pressure because the defense has, has the advantage. Inline out of bounds play is called smokestack. Five and four split, and the three screens back for the two come diving to the post. A box set, screen for the screener. Have your bigs on the bottom, one goes back, and one gets the screen that he initially set for in the beginning. Again, the numbers are up to you. We usually call this play number one. Five goes back and screens, and four diagonal screens back. Again, anytime you set a screen, always open up to the ball. Play two for the shooter. 
from the inbounder, come off the screen, post up, and either hit the shot or post feed it as you will see. But again, we usually call this play two. The, the first box series screen for screen was one. This is play two. It's for a good shooter coming off a down screen and feed the post if he's not there. Another version for number three would be where the shooter comes out the opposite side off a double screen. Again, simple plays that could be run by fifth through eighth grade. Even though we'll be running swing, there are special plays. That is called thumbs up. Thumbs up is a simple high ball screen, pick and roll from the five ball screen at the top of the key, like you see in the pros or colleges. And we pick and roll or pick and fade depending on how what the post band could do with the ball. Next play, play one for the one man. You keep your spacing, rescreening on a UCLA cut, hitting the jump shot. Next version of the swing offense is setting screens on the left side, getting more involvement. It's called play two. We get a ball screen for the two man while the one man goes out the opposite side for a double screen. Next version is play three to enter into the swing. Up screen for the one by the five, five ball screens for the three, and the one runs off a double by the four and two. Again, these are all entries into the swing. They are not the swing offense, but a different version of getting into it. Again, play three, looking for a different option. This is called fist. We get an instant reversal into what is called pioneer. Fist means we're re returning the ball right away, swinging it to the four, and then the three is going to come off the double. Again, the three is getting a double by the four and the one and then they'll release into their proper space and again these are just special plays in the into the swing again at many younger levels we see a lot of zones this would be called 32 three guys out two guys in we're x in the post we're going high post to low post a short corner every time we catch it we're squaring up the ball is entered to the high post, the low post should seal across. If the ball is entered to the baseline, the high post should flash down from the, to the block. Again, you can move your guys in the perimeter, pass and cut away, or you can keep them stand still. Again, 32 is against a 2-3 zone defense. And again, it's called 32 to make it simple for the players. And we want to make two guys guard, one guy guard, excuse me, two guys guard one. 